Hey everybody, Danny Rod here. Thanks for joining us again. This week I had John Harris come and see me, really struggling to strike his irons. And I thought I'd do something a little bit different for you this week. I thought I'd actually show you a before and after image. So what we're doing is I'm going to show you a video of exactly what he was doing. He was generally catching the ground behind the golf ball. He was catching it thin sometimes, losing a lack of distance. He had this very weak impact position. But by the end of the session, we'd eliminated it. And I'm going to show you exactly what we did because I know it could potentially help you strike your irons so, so much better. Before we do, of course, if, this, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, consider subscribing. I release content like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. So, what were we doing? What was John doing? So John came to see me and he just said he was just too inconsistent. The ball striker was too inconsistent. Sometimes he'd strike the ground behind, sometimes he would thin it, but he was certainly one that doesn't hit as far as he knew he, he could do. He's six foot one, so he should have been hit a lot further. Now, what he, as you'll see from the video, what John was actually doing is, is when he comes into impact here, he was actually coming in, and you'll see the impact position is coming in. It's almost like a flicking action here where the left wrist here, the lead wrist here is, is bending, the elbow starts to come out here and you can see here it's not good for the body, it's certainly not good, it's not a strong position and that was causing most of the problems. The question is what did he need to do to get rid of it and what did we do? So I want to show you also from this angle before we do. So when he was hitting the golf shot what was tending to happen was this. Swing back, back was pretty good a little bit around the corner, but not too bad. And as he came into impact here, what would happen was this. He'd bring the club into what I like to call the dead zone. He'd bring it from here. The club head starts to work too much, is too straight towards the golf ball. And this is getting the elbow coming out. What we needed to do when, when you bring it into, the, into the, this area here, you want to bring the club around the corner. So we need to come up with something that would help him to get some rotation. Because this bending elbow here, was all caused because he wasn't naturally rotating through and that's one of the main reasons why he wasn't actually striking it. So here's what we did. We gave him a very, very straightforward drill to rapidly improve his ball striking and all we did was this. Get yourself set up with lead arm on the golf club and all we do, get yourself set up here and all I want to do from here is this. Rotate to here. We're going to reverse engineer the follow through. So we're going to get to your position where you, sh you need to get to, I'm going to reverse engineer it. So you're going to rotate your left arm here, so the toes point to the sky, the back of your, uh, of your lead hand is pointing this way, that way, and then all we're going to do this, we're going to then reach out with the right, so it's a little bit of a stretch. Hold that there for a few seconds, feel what it's like, come back, and then repeat that process with both hands, hold that there for a second, feel what it's like, come back, and then actually go and hit a golf shot, just returning to that position. Now notice this, I'm not hitting it really hard, I'm trying to hold that shape, I'm trying to relate to the feeling I had earlier. I'm holding that shape there, nice and simple. Now what we did with this is we said go really, really slowly with it, rehearse it, build a system for the driving range initially, where all you're going to do, each shot, is you're going to rehearse that motion. You're going to get yourself set here. You're going to simply rotate here. So the back of the lead hand is now pointing that way, the toes to the sky. And from here, we're going to reach out with the right. It's a little bit of a stretch. Hold that there. Feel what it's supposed to be like. And then go back. Rehearse it again. Hold it. Does that feel the same? Yes, it does. Fantastic. Then very slowly come back. Nice small swing again. Back. And through. I've gone a little bit too far there, really. I would like to finish a little bit shorter. Momentum got the better of me. But that will then educate that, that uh, follow through position. Now, from here, what we said is why is this working? Well, because what John was doing was there was no rotation, natural rotation. He's been wanting to try. He's been seeing some of the videos. He'd be desperate to try and get that ball turf contact. He'd been desperate to try and get compression on the golf ball. And he was trying really hard. But compression is a natural byproduct of this move. If you reverse engineer the move, you will get compression. So watch this. When I turn through here, as I turn through, my body's naturally over the top of the golf ball. This is what's going to create compression, is ball turf contact. So as I rotate, it's just a natural byproduct of that move. It's as simple as that. Okay. Now what I want to show you here is, is have a look at the difference now of what John was doing. 
When he's died to hit his shots now, have a look at the difference in his follow through. There are very small swings, we've probably hit about 60% of his normal distance initially, but a much, much better improvement in terms of the impact position going through. The question is, and what he asked at the same time, he said, well, how do I then extend this to basically hit it further? Well, I said, look, don't be in a rush to start off with. You need to educate the muscles, you need to educate the body as to what this is supposed to feel like. Yeah, so don't rush this. Once you do, all you then do is think, right, okay, start to increase the speed of it. So what you're gonna do now is this. You're then gonna work to the same position and increase the speed. If anyone can um, uh, seen much of um, Tommy Fleetwood, you'll notice he has a, a curtail follow through. I'm almost certain he was working on a drill that he loves so much that he just simply speeded up that drill and ended up in this position. This is the kind of thing, but in a smaller, in a smaller way. So we're gonna simply work into that rotated position here, feel what it's like, and then simply start to speed up the motion by hitting it a little bit harder. Okay, one after another. Now take your time with this. The next question he asked was, how does this then spread to driver? How can we work with this with driver? Well, let me show you. Let's have a look. So with driver, basically, you do something similar but it's different, right? So the intention with driver is slightly different with an iron. With an iron, we're naturally going down on the golf ball as we come, come through here. Hence, the arm here is rotating and finishing in this position. With a driver, what we're going to do, we want to smack it up in the sky. So what we're going to do different is this. Get the ball positioned further forward in your stance. We're going to get ourselves slightly behind the golf ball here. And then when we do the exercise, rather than finish there, which will lead to much, too much of a downward strike, we're going to now this. We're going to finish with the left arm or lead arm higher, rotated up this way, and up into the sky a little bit. Why? Because that, where we're hitting this club is where? Upwards. We're not going there. We're going there. So we're reverse engineering the process. If you know where you need to get to, your swing is then going to flow more naturally into that position. So we said, right, okay, let's do the same drill. So we're going to get the left arm, we get our body in position here, back, rotate up into the sky here. My knuckles are facing down a little bit. The toe of the club now is turned slightly more down towards the ground. Now what I'm going to do is going to reach and stretch, feel what that's like. Same again, rotate, hold that position up there. And all I'm going to do, try and do now is basically go into that position nice and small again, back. There we go, just holding that position. Learning to get the feel. And that is all we did. It was super, super simple. And as you can see from the videos, it was made with basically an hour. We made a dramatic difference to his impact and the ability for him to strike a golf ball. So let's summarize, what have we done? We basically have said, look, if you want to get a better ball strike. One thing which is very common, people striking the, uh, behind the golf ball or they're thinning it, they generally swing in into the, I call here, the dead zone here, there's no natural rotation. So they come into this position here, their body stands up, you get chicken wings, you get early extension, you get flicky strikes. What we need is a rotation through the impact area. Question is, how do you educate your body to get that rotation? Well, nice and simple. With an iron, the ball's going to be further back, and you can simply just going to rotate to here, then get the sensation, reach for it with your right hand, hold it for a few seconds, learn what it feels like. I can feel a lot of pressure going down in my left side, more over the top of the ball, leads to compression, yeah. Go back, rotate to that position, hold that feeling, and feel what it's like, then go and hit the golf ball. Yeah, keep it small. Don't be in a rush yet. Yeah, be patient with this. Driver time. We want to, the intention now, driver is not to hit it that way, it's to hit it up in the air. We want carry. So we're going to move our position higher. With the lead hand now, we're going to rotate it again, but we're going to rotate it up into a top corner here with the knuckles pointing down a little bit, faces a little bit more closed. And then what we're going to do is going to reach up there and hold that and feel what that's like. Then, we're going to rehearse it again. Again, educating the body. These are all important. Then we're going to get in position. And then, nice and small again, we're going to hit that shot. 
And as you can see from the videos with John, it worked an absolute treat. So I really hope it helps you. It's a really good one this week. If you do and you enjoy the content, you want to see it in your inbox every single week, don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell. And of course, if you know some of your friends who are struggling with striking their irons and maybe want to launch a few more drivers, please share the video. It really, really helps. Until next week, have a great golfing week.